Shalom, King of Kings fam. Let's pray. Abba, we thank you for your word. It is perfect. It is a light. It is a lamp for your people. It is our revelation, Lord. We invite your revelation now to speak to each of us, Lord, that we would be transformed by the power of your word. B'Shem Yeshua. Tonight's Torah reading begins with Leviticus chapter 16, verses 20 through 34. When he was finished atoning for the holy place, the tent of meeting and the altar, then he is to present the live goat. Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of B'nai Yisrael and all their transgressions, all their sins. He should place them on the head of the goat and send it away into the wilderness by the hand of a man who is in readiness. The goat will carry all the iniquities by itself into solitary land, and he is to leave the goat in the wilderness. Then Aaron is to come into the tent of meeting, take off the linen garments that he put on when he went into the holy place and leave them there. He is to bathe himself with water in a holy place, put on his garments and come out to offer his burnt offerings and the burnt offering of the people to make atonement for himself and for the people. Then he is to burn up fat of the sin offering and smoke on the altar. The man who leaves the goat as a scapegoat is to wash his clothes and bathe his body in water. Afterwards, he may come into the camp. The bull for the sin offering and the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought into make atonement in the holy place, should be carried outside the camp, and their hides, their flesh, and their dung burned with the fire. The one who burns them is to wash his clothes and bathe his body in water. Then afterward, he may come into the camp. It is to be a statute to you forever, that in the seventh month, on the 10th day of the month, you are to afflict your souls and do no kind of work, both the native born and the outsiders dwelling among you. For on this day, atonement will be made for you to cleanse you from all your sins. You will be clean before Adonai. It is a Shabbat of solemn rest to you, and you are to afflict your souls. It is a statute forever. The Kohen who is anointed and who is consecrated to be Kohen in his father's place will make the atonement and put on the linen garments, the holy garments. He is to make atonement for a holy sanctuary, for the tent of meeting, for the altar, for the Kohanim, and for all the people of the assembly. This will be an everlasting statute for you to make atonement for B'nai Israel once, the year because, once a year because of all their sins. It was done as Adonai commanded Moses. And from the Haftarah, Isaiah 58, verses 1 through 9. Behold, in the day of your fast you seek your own pleasure and exploit all your labors. Behold, you fast for strife and contention and to strike with a wicked fist. You should not fast as you do today to make your voice heard on high. Is this the fast I have chosen? A day for one to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a reed and spreading out sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to Adonai? Is not this the fast I choose? To release the bonds of the wickedness, to untie the cords of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to tear off every yoke. It is not, is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will spring up speedily. Your righteousness will go before you, the glory of Adonai as your rear guard. And then you will call and Adonai will answer. You will cry and he will say, here I am. And finally from the Brit Hadashah, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 21. So from now on, we recognize no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Messiah according to the flesh, yet now we no longer know him this way. Therefore, if anyone is in Messiah, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all these things are from God who reconciled us to himself through Messiah and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. 
That is, in Messiah, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And he has entrusted the message of reconciliation to us. We are therefore ambassadors for Messiah, as though God were making his appeal through us. We beg you on behalf of Messiah, be reconciled to God. He made the one who knew no sin to become sin offering on our behalf, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Holy Abba, we thank you again for your perfect word and how it directs us. And we thank you for what you've done, for coming and for making the atonement with your own life. And we thank you that it didn't stop with death, but you were able to pick your life back up again, Lord, and to call us family. And so we welcome this, this power, Lord, over Israel tonight, Lord, and your people. Lord, would you show them and demonstrate and reveal to them that the Messiah has come, that the atonement is here, and that, the, yes, you want their names to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you for your salvation. B'Shem Yeshua. Amen. Jim, thank you for reading those words and giving us that opportunity to engage with the Word as we continue to worship God. And, um, you know, the reading cycle is something that we do each week as a part of our worship as we engage with God's Word. And what is He saying to His people today, this week, as we go through the the Parsha reading cycle that Israel is reading around the world and um, engaging with God in his word. Uh, everyone in the same scriptures, in the same uh, contexts. 